What's up, people? Mr. Blackout here. How you doing? Happy... What? Skyrim? What? Yes, Skyrim. Damn it. <laughs> I picked the game up and I haven't been able to put it down since. Oh, along with millions of others, I believe. <laughs> One of the best games of the year, by far. And uh, this is my crib. And if you guys don't like Skyrim videos, if someone, you know, if you're not watching and you don't like Skyrim, then by all means, turn the video off, sir. Or madam. I'm not, my videos are not all Skyrim. I just, you know, I like to dabble in all sorts of games. And this is my crib in Markov. So, uh, go away if you don't like Skyrim. And come back another day for another video. I uploaded a Black Ops video earlier today. So, by all means, go check that out. That was, uh, some epic cinematic musical stuff. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to start some adventures here on Skyrim and uh, I figured what I'd start with was my crib. My Markarth crib with butterflies in jars. <laughs> I've collected quite a lot of stuff along my travels, as you'll see as I go through the house. And it's been it's been so cool, man. I've, you know, traveled all over Skyrim. I feel like I'm telling a story like I lived it. Like I was there. <laughs> That's what's so cool about Skyrim though, isn't it? You can somewhat create your own fantasy. Uh, it's like World, World of Warcraft, but different, but the same, but different. So as you can see, I got my uh, my Elven Arrows, my, my uh, Thieves Guild armor, a uh, mace from some Daedric Emperor or whatever. If you guys don't play Skyrim, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But if you do, you have every idea what I'm talking about. I think that's a Dwarven Shield, to be honest. And then over here at the fireplace, we've got some ebony boots. I'm burping up stuff. I have a habit of that when I'm doing commentaries. Some Daedric armor right there. I made that. And then a glass warhammer. Some other enchanted weapons. So, you, got, you know, if you guys are looking forward to seeing some adventures on Skyrim, then let me know. So I know uh, that you... Looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, what's that? Ebony dagger. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling them all out because I took the HUD off, so you can't. Usually they bring up the names of everything. That's some dwarven armor right there. Some heavy dwarven armor. It's good stuff. Looks sweet too. Some elven boots, some elven shields, my little helmet sh sh uh, shelf thing, Majiggy. So, anyway, apart from these adventures, uh, is there anything particular that you guys want to see? If so, let me know in the comments and I will try to accomplish it for you. Uh, and obviously, there's going to be lots of cinematics and musical stuff along with Skyrim. Because as you can see, you can take the HUD off. Modern Warfare 3. You can hear me from here. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, you can take the HUD off on Skyrim, which makes for a very cinematic. Cinematical options. I'm trying to get all just a philosophical with my words now. <laughs> anyway, let's wrap this up. I hope you guys like the tour of my little crib right here. There's a back room and stuff, but there's not really much back there yet. I've uh, I haven't worked my way into that part of the house. But I love you long time as always, and I hope you guys are looking forward to Skyrim. And of course, there's always other stuff coming out. Battlefield 3. Maybe we'll get another BF3 story going if you guys seem to be digging those. And um, hopefully with this patch in January on the Modern Warfare 3 Theater mode, we can see some stuff coming from that too. But until then, I ain't touching you. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little too feisty. Anyway, fireplace. Fireplace. Let's finish it off at the fireplace. I hope you guys enjoy this. Peace out from me. Love you long time. Uh, Yowsh, damn it.